Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battling video where today we are talking about King Ghidorah 2019 or Monster Zero as people are calling him as a leader. Now yesterday's video was of King Ghidorah as a unit where I talked about how much that I actually genuinely really did like him and think that he has potential yet to be seen. This is not the case for him as a leader. I think as a leader, he's probably one of the ones you're better off avoiding. Okay, I think he's a better leader worth avoiding and never touching than than anything else right so I'll, I'll i'll give you his stats as a leader and then we'll talk about why i don't like him hp and damage are pretty standard as far as leaders go it falls in line with the rest of our leader calculations all four star leaders in this game generally have the same stats especially the health sometimes the damage varies his damage is nothing that excites me at level 12 is what i have him at at the moment when this is recording and this is obviously a very early impression video it's in the early impressions playlist at the moment i'm not very impressed that's my early impression of his damage he has long reach which is good he's a 2.8 second attack speed which is fine he's stun resistant as a leader which is a very good quality to have as a leader i think maybe the only other one that's stun resistant as a lead is ultraman love that single target single target leaders generally are the ones that are not being used very often unless they have a really good ability to boot king Ghidorah's ability reads as the following the title of it is gravity beam it costs five to use and has 150 second cooldown that is long that is very very long for a ability in this game especially one of that price Let's continue. Deals 350 damage to enemy units on the battlefield. That's all enemies. That is not an increasing stat that's flat. This is going to do 350 damage to all enemies on the battlefield. Except for the enemy leader. Right? This is all enemies, all units on the battlefield. The translation on the on the live stream said except for the leader, but uh this doesn't say it here, so maybe his leader maybe doesn't. I don't really remember. Doesn't matter because I don't plan on using him. It says increases the attack power of all allied units except self by 20% for 15 seconds. It's giving you 20% buff to all units for 15 seconds. So that's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let me read you Kong's ability. Let me read you Kong's leader ability. Pulling up my phone. Earthbreak. Energy cost 1. Cooldown 90 seconds. Deals 300 damage in a circle, don't care. Increases damage dealt by all allied units with an energy cost of 4 or more on the battlefield for 20% for 15 seconds. Okay? Does that sound familiar to you? Kong's ability is 3 less than this because it affects a certain group of characters? I don't know. This affects all characters so maybe they thought that this needs to be really expensive and have a high cooldown because it affects everyone on the team what characters in this game kong affects things starting at a four cost i'm going to search this by uh energy cost on my game right here right here searching by energy cost what characters cost less than four that kong wouldn't be buffing mothra larva hetera flying form the emboss the dorats Destroy Alar the Destroy Aggregate Form, Kumo Augment, Manila, Giant Octopus, Chibi Godzilla. I don't know about you. The only one in there worth a damn. Oh, and I guess regular Kamakuris. The only ones worth a damn are the Kumo and the and the Kamakuris. So you're telling me that for three more energy than Kong's and substantially more seconds on the cooldown than Kong's, I can boost Chibi Godzilla and Giant Octopus? Wow, that's crazy. Th that, this, this ability is not it. It, it's, it sounds good in theory. Everything on the field is getting a boost of 20% for 15 seconds. But when you consider everything, there isn't a whole lot that's worth it below like what kong is running kong has this exact ability but for characters that are four energy or higher and that is actually good usable units that you're going to be using in your deck regularly i don't care that the kamakuris aren't getting the damage boost i don't care that kumo augment isn't getting the damage boost right i can boost them on the field with king Ghidorah on the field for a 10 percent boost or space godzilla or batra this ability sucks 
The ability itself is fine. There's nothing wrong with this ability. It is too expensive and it has too high of a cooldown. This is going to be used once a match, maybe twice if you use it like immediately in the beginning. The damage it deals to everyone in the field doesn't matter. We've seen abilities like that with Shin Godzilla where he'll deal a little bit of damage to everyone in the field and it's not good. You know what ability is good that hits everyone on the field? The Ava Unit 1 leader that takes 80% of all the health from all the units that are currently on the field except for the leaders where they take like 15% or something like that, 10%. This ability, the description of the ability is good. That is a good ability. The cost and the cooldown is atrocious. For the characters that you would be buffing, if you, you could use Kong as a leader for this exact ability and be boosting less units, but the units he's boosting are going to be super helpful. You are going to use this as a leader and you're boosting a handful of units that aren't even really seeing any play, period. I don't know who's popping this ability to boost the Dorats by 20%. I don't know who's using this to boost Manila, Chibi Godzilla, Giant Octopus by 20%. But you know what? I could use the Kong ability a few times in the match. What, like three times in the match? And I'll be boosting everything from four and up. What's four and up? Uh, Naranga, Kamen Rider, Jet Jaguar Singular Point, King Caesar, Rodent 64, Angiris, Batra Larva, Mecha Godzilla 93, Mogara. The 5th Angel, or not the 5th Angel, what is it? The 10th Angel, he's 5 energy. The 10th Angel, you know, and then like 4th Angel, Unit 0, Ultraman, Leo. Yes, King Ghidorah boosts all of those monsters too, but for 3 extra energy and a ton on the cooldown, you can also boost Dorats. Very sick. I love that. So, King Ghidorah, 2019, pretty buns leader. Pretty cheeks. I do not like it. I really like the ability. The cooldown sucks. The energy cost sucks. For the characters that are currently in the game, when this video goes live, that would be affected by this ability over Kong's ability, it's minuscule. It, it doesn't make a difference. You want to use this, you like this ability a lot? Use Kong as your leader. Use Kong as your leader. He does the same thing for one cost and a 90 second cooldown. It is literally the same ability except Kong has to have, you know, he'll only boost characters that are four energy or higher. But guess what? 90% of decks are using mostly cards that are four or higher. Normally, anything that's lower than four is either an effect or Kamakaris. Sometimes Kumo Augment. That's really what it comes down to, so... That's all I got for you guys today. I didn't like this ability so much. Hopefully, the next leader they add to the game has a usable ability. Almost like Mechagods of 74. That's a pretty good ability. That's what I got for you guys today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.